Good morning, everybody. Well, it looks like the PTU is now available for everybody, so I hope you can all get a chance to go out there and do your thing. And, uh... Oh, that was a little hiccup there. For the most part, I've been getting 60 frames a second since I logged in, but that was a little bit of a hiccup. I'm getting a weird little overlay, too. You can probably see it on the little bit to the right of the middle of my screen here. I'm getting a, uh, a ghost image. You see if I just move around to that kind of that... So you can see the door. It's like an image of the door on the... It kind of burned in a little bit. It's kind of weird. Not sure why. Now, I did actually re-enable my SLI. Um, I've had my SLI disabled since uh, Evocati because uh, I had a problem with the planets were flickering really badly. So you can see that. You see the door right there. It's really weird. <laughs> that goes away. So, I thought... Grab a cutlass here. Head on down to a planet and see... Oh, the doors are drawing in. That's good. That's very good. That's so weird. I can see that door like, right, right permanently like attached to the... You know, I could switch off the gimbals for fixed, but for right now, I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm just gonna fly. Right now, I dropped a bit. We're at about 36 frames a second. All right. Oop. I dipped a bit there. All right, well, it looks like I don't have light cutting through the doors. That's good. That's been an issue for a while now. Okay, we're back up to 47 frames a second. Looks like it's not recognizing my left stick at the moment, so I'll tell you what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go ahead and fix the configuration on my controls, and then we will resume. All right, we're back. Uh, got everything set up again, kind of. Have to tweak the rest of it later, but uh, I have these little weird indicators on the screen now. Of course, uh, very rough. Kind of oh, that one on the on the left there of the HUD showing the shields is kind of 8-bit-ish uh, and the DMFDs are still well, they're still a bit uh, fuzzy hmm. still have that weird door overlay though so let's go ahead and bring up the old Moby glass here really picky this morning, just kind of want to see how it performs. So let's just go to Daymar. Nice and close. Apparently also right in front of us. I think the joystick sensitivity is off. Quite a bit. Alright, I'm not going to bore you with that. Fix that. Be right back. All right, so I fixed the sensitivity. It was at uh, on one. I like to have mine at two point one. So let's go ahead and uh, jump on over. Nice short trip. Oh. Yeah, SLI is still doing the, fl the planet flicker thing. What a bummer. This is why I disabled it a while ago. 
See, I've had to turn one of my graphics cards into a physics card because of this. And, um... This would be a good time to get down to the planet. I guess I'll test the logging out. You know, I don't have to, I don't have to do this. I don't, I don't have to get down to a planet to, uh... To log out. I can, I can just test the bed right here. Let's see if it works, like, in space. Oof. Before I get someone an epileptic fit, let me turn away from that thing. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out in the chair, in the bed of me. Let's see if it remembers that I'm here. And I want to change my video card settings again. Which is slightly obnoxious, because, yeah, look, you see, like, the flicker is just... The flicker is real. So let's try it. Log out. All right, let's go ahead and test this login system and see if it uh, works. I logged out in space above the planet. At least it should get rid of that uh, door overlay that I was having. That was a very obnoxious thing to have to look through. All right, so we're at the... Harcourt Mining Area 141. They have pads here, so hopefully we can get a ground vehicle or something. Probably need to call them first, though. Get a landing request. Hmm. Maybe we don't need it. A little bit of a dust storm coming in. Not sure if they have a way to summon up a craft here. Let's hope. Whenever I've tried to summon one up on one of the uh, the bikes on the other planets, they typically end up falling through the planet. Not that that's supposed to happen until I'm actually on the bike. Okay, this station's a winner. It's got a coffee machine. <laughs> oh, long haul quarterly. Oh, yes. All right. Well, let's do a Knox. Look at where you get landing pad. How specific? Is it on its side? It's on its side, isn't it? <laughs> Stupid Knox. <laughs> Uh, all right, all right. Give me, give me the bike. 
<laughs> uh, okay. Light ready. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Whoa! It's going ballistic, man! It's going. Jeez! <laughs> no! Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. See how high I can go. Oh, that was good. That wasn't very high. Wonder if I have to boost to go up. Oh, that holds it. No, there he goes. Now it kicks over into flight mode. Oh yeah, you have to hold down the boost. Yeah, that kicks it into flight. I said not a fan of that, but. I'm at negative altitude. And yeah, there's the ground. Whoa! Landing gear? Doesn't have landing gear. Oh, it's kind of jittery. I'm not touching the camera right now, it's doing that by itself. All right, well. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, where am I? Oh, that's pretty. I think... Okay, I think I'm coming down now. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Okay. I'm not touching the controls at all. I want to. <laughs> I just want to see what happens here with this. Okay. The throttle's all the way back too. Why is it accelerating like the throttle's up? That's really weird. It's flashing like the bike's gonna explode. Probably is. I can't get the headlights to turn on. Let's put this one away. Let's try the dragonfly. Whoa! Well, a dragonfly would be a bit more stable. Maybe. Needs work.
Now, because the Dragonfly is supposed to be more of your ATB, imagine it would be more functional. Oh, we got to you, you, you got to do the circuit. You've got to. Hell yeah. Only real men drive pink dragonflies. Oh, yeah. The sun's coming up. Good. That'll help. Still getting about 30 frames a second. Yeah, so my recommendation is you can take a bike out. Leave the Nox alone for now. Unless you want to do bug testing on it, but clearly it's... I mean, you can just see it bouncing there on the pad. The dragonfly seems pretty stable. Oh yeah, that's the Hello Kitty strong with this one. let go of the the, uh, the strafe up, it comes down like really hard to the deck. Of course the dual sticks here work pretty well. Really hitting the ground here. Maybe they added flight because they can't get the ground to work very well. I don't know. Boost, see what speed I can get out of this. Oh, shoot! I think I'm actually hitting the ground. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> yeah. it's, now, now it's, it's not a motorcycle, it's a piece of mining equipment at this point. What the heck? Okay, now it's gone to flight mode. It opens up the uh, it opens up the, uh, the 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 sides and the panels a bit when it does that. All right, I can shoot. Let's change that camera angle a little bit friendlier for third person. There we go. Yeah, I'm uh, still not a fan of the flying motorcycles, but. This isn't as interesting as being on the ground and dealing with whatever. Ah, it's just something else. Little shadows casting off the rocks like that, and it, the lighting is just. I will always give their graphics guys and their their tech designers just, you know, five stars out of five stars. I said my issue with Star Citizen has always just been the flight mechanics. The rest of the game, completely down with it. Now let's assume the game comes out and the flight mechanics are less than what I would like. I still play the game. 
I didn't put that much money in not to play it. It just I won't find it as interesting as I think it could be. We'll have to wait to private servers happen or something, and then hopefully someone will come up with a better solution. Or maybe I can find someone who's looking at that and help them out. In the meantime, this is this is fun too. That's gonna kick in the flight. Like over the thing. All right, it's gonna go. <laughs> oh, I regret nothing. There we go. So wait a minute. If I hit end, is it the same thing? No, the end doesn't work. Interesting. All right, let's get some of that, some of that speed going from, <laughs> from reduced drag. <laughs> Frame rate's starting to dip a little bit. It's like 17 to 20. I think more people are letting that spike back up. I think more people are joining the server. I mean, the lighting effects for the, you know, sunrise and stuff is just, just amazing. Stick gimbals. Or otherwise known as how to miss everything. fast we're going. I'm not gonna... I think I burned all my burnt boost fuel, though. Maybe. Well, let's see if the, the base has a bed for you to log out on. Because in real life, I need to sleep. Try to render some of this up. I don't think I'm going to render it at 60, guys. Just because of the fact that, well, I'm not really getting 60 frames a second. I, I already did in the first part before I had to, when I jumped to the planet. But it doubles the render time and... As I said, I'm, I'm kind of tired. I'd like to get some sleep today. Besides, we got that stream going on. This is actually being done on Friday. It's about 8.47 in the morning my time. Uh, the stream was delayed, of course, till today. Which makes perfect sense. I mean, they want to keep a rough kind of schedule, but... Technical things happen. Whoa! I didn't want that. <laughs> Just sides randomly. Okay, we're gonna smash into the ground now. He's got habitation modules in him. I know that one back over there didn't, so probably be better to check one of these out. Alright. 
can see here. Oh. oh what? My, uh... You know, my, uh... Button will get to the option to exit. Okay, well, I guess I'll guess I get, I guess I'll get off the bike. Uh, apparently I'll never get on it again. <laughs> oh, get on! <laughs> what are you going? No. What? My chaff? Okay, I, I don't even have... I can't look around. I'm, I'm, I'm actually holding down F versus your interact and I'm moving the mouse all over. And it's stuck. Okay, well, I'll use the stick then. Okay, that'll work. Okay. Um... Interesting. Let's see here. Power off. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that was a weird glitch. See, now I'm sitting on the crown when I was summoned up in the pad, it was in the air. Still? I really look forward to having a uh, player housing down the road and put down something like this, but you know, it's stuff that I would use. Or could be able to use. What is that thing? Just a bunch of control rooms are controlling these, I guess, those things out there. No, uh, nothing else, really. Alright, try one last building. Close loggers. Oh, good. Can I use these beds? Please hope so. Well, crap. It's too much to dream for such things. This would be ideal. Well, I don't want to lose my Saber Raven on a planet that I can only get back to. If I leave, log out right now, it's going to get stored here, and that's not going to work for me. Ah, no. screw us, we're over. So I'm going to take us back to Port Olisar, log out there, try to render this up, get to bed before. Well, get a couple hours sleep for the stream anyway. It's gonna be dead at my job anyway over the next few days. So, it doesn't matter if I'm tired or not. Alright guys, well, get out there, get flying, get testing. And uh, leave your feedback down below about what your experiences have been thus far in 3.0 for those of you who have finally got a chance to get their hands on it.
we'll catch you in the next one.